scheduled for 15. 156 pound weight limitation. Sean O'Sullivan of Canada, the defending world champion, the challenger, Frank Tate of the United States. But Sean O'Sullivan has had a health problem and I discussed it with him earlier. What are you doing here, Sean? You've been battling a heavy case of the flu. Well, it, we, about three days ago, we decided not to come. Um, but I sort of thought that I'd like to come and defend my title. And uh, things got a little better looking in the way of health. Uh, I started to feel a little better. The sore throat and cold went away. And uh, we decided just the last minute to come. Well, you're really in shape to fight a tough guy like Tate. Well, I hope so. Um, I've been training a long time now for this bout. Uh, I was in shape all the way through the, the, the training and sparring session we went, but this flu hit me and it kind of took me back a few steps, but I think I'll be all right by tonight, I hope. Sean O'Sullivan coming off that bout with the flu, and he's not the kind of kid to make excuses. A lot of guts, a lot of good movement, the pre-Olympic favorite to win the Olympic gold list weight classification, Mr. Sumo Dio of the Philippines, is the third man in the ring. You see him there. And the action begins. Frank Tate, a tough cookie. Tate not supposed to be the opponent. The World Cup man from Italy, Romolo Casamonica, was supposed to be the opponent, but he had to beg off. He is sick. So Tate comes in. Tate, a good boxer, not a big puncher. O'Sullivan trying to show his skills immediately. And they are many and varied. He is an excellent boxer. He is a good puncher. He is a busy fighter. Has a lot of moves. Likes to take command early. Is excellent at adapting to the style of the opponent. But Tate proved himself on February 18th past in Reno when he upset the Cuban Orestes Solano. Tate, a very good medal prospect for the United States in the forthcoming games of the 23rd Olympiad. This is first round action, remember? Watch Tate, he's an excellent counter puncher. He's got a good left jab, not a power hitter, not a knockout artist but a good and troublesome boxer who is not easy to get to, as O'Sullivan will discover. But throughout the bout, without making excuses for O'Sullivan, we've got to be wary about him, about his stamina, because of that bout with the flu and the uncertainty as to whether or not he'd even appear for this match. First round, close, up to this point. Very little to choose. Tate beginning to score well from the middle of this round on. O'Sullivan keeps coming at him, but Tate covers well. Good right and a good left by Tate. And another good right. And now he is beginning to dominate O'Sullivan. And O'Sullivan is backing off, unlike the way Sean started. Look at that. Tate in charge now in this, the first round of this light middleweight bout. World Amateur Boxing Championship Challenge. This is the last major international boxing competition prior to the Summer Olympics. And the United States coming up with what appears to be a sparkling team. You hesitate to say they're as good as the remarkable team at Montreal, but who can tell? Certain it is, the U.S. will get its share of medals in the boxing competition at the games. The bell for round two, light middleweight bout. Sean O'Sullivan in the red trunks of Canada. The world champion defending, coming off the bout with the flu against Frank Tate of the United States. Substitute, a replacement for Romolo Casamonica, the World Cup man from Italy, who was sick. In the first round, I felt Tate, from the middle of the round on, dominated, cleanly won the first round. He is an excellent boxer. He is not an easy target to get to. The problem for O'Sullivan among other things besides Tate, 
stamina because of his weakened condition from the flu. O'Sullivan coming back now. O'Sullivan scoring well against Tate. This is the Sean O'Sullivan we've grown accustomed to seeing. What a gutsy kid. You've got to give him all the credit in the world. He's taking charge of Tate now. Excellent round. Notice how Tate counter punches. Very effective in that regard. Very clever fighter. Tate answering back now. This is why I love amateur boxing. The close surveillance of the fighters, the doctors at the ring, the immediacy with which the fighter is protected if he's being hurt. And action, action, action. Olympic-style boxing at its best. Tate scoring with a right to the chest. Much better round for O'Sullivan than the first round. But still, the way Tate came back, I consider the round at issue. Third round should be a dilly if it goes that far. Oh, you saw that right by Tate. Excellent. O'Sullivan had thrown his punch, and countering, Tate got in the good right. Now O'Sullivan has Tate against the ropes, and Tate fights off the ropes and gives it to O'Sullivan. This is the way you expect these kids to fight. And they are putting on some show. Sean O'Sullivan against Frank Tate. The crowd is loving this fight. Tate scoring again. The issue certainly in doubt in this round. Right now, I'd score it maybe slightly in Tate's favor, maybe even. But Sean O'Sullivan, I really respect and even admire that kid. What guts. Look at Sean coming back, trying to score with the left, and Tate covering against the rope. Okay, the end of the round. Mr. Somadio of the Philippines sends the fighters to their corners, and look at that crowd. They are loving every second of it. Looking at Frank Tate of the USA, light middleweight in my book, leading Sean O'Sullivan, the world champion. This is round three. Mr. Soma Dio of the Philippines, the third man in the ring. And this is the World Amateur Boxing Championship Challenge. And if Tate is doing nothing else as a replacement for the Italian fighter, Casa Monica, he is proving that he has medal-winning potential against the world champion, O'Sullivan, who is fighting a game in gutsy fight despite a bout with the flu that made it doubtful he would even participate in this competition. But O'Sullivan is a gamer, and this has been a busy, action-filled fight. Frank Tate looking to make the third round cleanly his and acquire the world championship. And he's starting off well, the aggressive. And you have to figure out that O'Sullivan has tired at least somewhat. I like this kid, Tate. I like his ability to counter punch. I like the fact that he covers so well with his fist, picks off so many blows, and I like the way he fights off the ropes, or can escape the ropes as he just did, with foot movement when you need it. He is a good fighter, Frank Tate. No question about it, a medal prospect for the games of the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles, now just a few months away. Actually, Dennis Milton is also in this division, and Tate's toughest job might be even making the American team. The American team being molded in the manner of, but not yet to be compared with, those fighters who represented the United States in Montreal. Five gold, one silver, one bronze. What a triumph of the human spirit by that team. And somehow you get the feeling that the KG Pat Nappy, the American... Co oh, a good right by Tate. Staggered O'Sullivan. A good right by Tate. You get the feeling Nappy knows what he's building. Another American powerhouse team. 
So Medeo is all over the action. This is an excellent round for Frank Tate. He has kept the left steadily moving. It has been the dominant blow of the fight up until the right that staggered O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, as I said, a gamer. But O'Sullivan now clearly winding down, weary. In my view, Frank Tate will win this fight and will win it convincingly. So it'll be another world championship for a fighter from the United States. Unexpectedly, in this case, Frank Tate, a replacement for Casamonica Bickle. There's the bell, hard to hear with the crowd and the protective headgear. Further deafening the fighters. Tate celebrating, he knows he's won, I'm sure he's won, and the crowd loves it. Story is right there, the right hand, as we look in slow motion at action from round three. You could see Sean O'Sullivan tiring right there. Winning on points out of the blue corner. Representing the United States. As we expected, Frank Tate, Frank Tate the Tate. new world champion. And Sean O'Sullivan, such a gamer and such a sport. Another look at Tate, and in particular, the right. Used the left to set up O'Sullivan. There was the right that almost put O'Sullivan down. It was a good fight. It came through beautifully. I must say, Frank, you won the first and third rounds. Third round, you completely dominated. You earned the victory. Well, the, the first fight, I didn't box him. You know, I, I think I overtrained myself. But this fight, I was mentally in shape. I was ready for him. The first round, I knew I had won. Second round, he came back, but I had to, to hustle the last round. The fight was good to me, you know, he hit me and I hit him back. But we can fight again. We're one and one now. You're one and one now and you'll certainly face him in the Olympics, that yeah. you know. I'll show him face him in the Olympics. This gives you great confidence. Though. Yeah, this has been a year for me. I won the Golden Glove Nationals and the ABF Nationals, now the World Amateur Championship. You know, now all I can do now is thank God for everything. Now, in fairness to Sean, he's been battling the flu. Did you sense him losing his strength in the final round? Well, not really, you know, he was still coming, you know. He was showing tiredness, but, you know, I took advantage of that. I kept the jab in his face, even though I wasn't hitting him. And I used the right time. very effective. Yeah. I was working on, you know, he, he beat me the first time. He kept pressuring me, and I got tired. But that's why I said I, I had to go all the way. Take the championship home to Detroit City. <laughs> Good luck in the games. Thank you. So, a sterling performance by another medal prospect, Frank Tate. But Sean O'Sullivan will be back. A great fight. Well, amateur champion, in fact, a member of the 1980 Olympic category in the blue corner, a very talented young boxer from Kitchener, Ontario, Lennox Lewis. He's only 18, and they have 